Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Welcome back guys, gals and non-binary pals, we are here for another day at the one hour limit locked shenanigans of course. We're gonna kick things off with our birdhouse runs as usual and do some herbs right after. Then we got something a little different planned today, a little bit different from usual. So yeah, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of skilling. We've got some fire making levels to gain, up to 55 to get the quest requirements for Beneath Curse Sands. We are just four levels away, but well, three point tiny bit of a level away so it's not going to take us that long at the very most it'll take us the day but i don't think it's going to take the full day and then we've got a tiny bit of crafting to do too we need just under four thousand experience oh i only got five compost yeah we only need 4k crafting xp so i'm planning to get that from staffs i'm going to get my daily staffs Buy some water orbs to stick on top of them, alk them for profit, a completed thing for like 1.3k per staff, rather than making like 800 GP per staff, and we get crafting XP alongside it, so it won't cost us anything. So yeah, that's going to work out better than like spending money on diamonds or something, and cutting them, and it gives us something to do some alks on and get some value all right but that's not going to get us all the way there we will be ever so slightly shy there are 100 xp each so we'll be 400 xp shy of the goal i'm sure i can figure out a way to get 400 crafting xp my like harvest was in such good time with the music cutter. there's a level to go with it we will see less daily number go up with these, but we also see less daily or like every couple daily money go down by planting Aventura rather than Renard. I think I said some of this yesterday, but it got lost because of the weird audio. Hopefully the audio is all okay today. I mean, if it's not, you won't be hearing me say this, but I tested everything before starting and twice yesterday to see if I could figure out what was wrong. I have no idea and we've restarted the laptop since then so hopefully that helps hopefully it's not a problem it was super bad though it's like super crackly like feedback okay there is the herbs down we are gonna head over to barrack and grab our staffs for the day we will not be slapping them straight up today though as i say but we will be purchasing 35 water orbs What's the price of Renar seeds at the minute? Yeah, I thought I'd check just in case it was around 22k because that's about as low as it ever goes. So if it was, I would have bought some. All right, let's get a clean inventory. Let's get some water orbs and some staffs. Stick these together. Okay, so we have an elk stack there. Do we have any uncut? randomly no what am i looking for crafting supplies what do we have glass i suppose some glass would be a quick way to do it right ah fuck it we'll get it whenever who cares who cares right i need my winter todd stuff i can't remember what my warm clothing was unlit bug lantern we always have because i'm a g and i love my unlit bug lantern not unlit lit bug lantern <laughs> We do need to do this alkin as well. Maybe I should get rid of all these random tabs. 
and then just have an actual tab because none of these tabs are anything. They're just when I dump something in, like right, I need to do this later. We're not going to be able to alk at Todd the so. Okay, that goes there, that goes there. These go on. We want our spotty and boots of lightness we already had on, I think. We want a fire tiara, yep. Okay, that's another one. Fuck, what else? Not a fire cape, I don't think a blazing blowpipe would work, but we've got a hand slot anyway. Gloves, there's like Freminic gloves. As one of them. Yeah, okay. This is fun figuring it out. Have we got a sweater or a scarf? Perfect, there we go. So that's one, two, three, four. And then we can I guess just shove some hunter gear on. Cause it gives it gives run energy. I didn't realise this or weight reduction even. I don't know which one we can wear though. Should we check? Oh, we can wear kayak. That's the highest. Kayak legs. Sure. Why not? Well, let's try it. I'm pretty sure I saw this the other day. I can't remember why I was looking it up. But right now we're on 0 kg. Okay, nothing changed at all. Maybe you need the full set or something. But we do look pretty stylish, so fuck it. I'm just going to go with it. Right. Oh, I got to keep clicking the G rather than the bank. We're going to win a Todd. Game's necklace. We won... Tinder box, a knife, shit ton of food. I don't know how much we're gonna need. I guess I'll take my blessing just in case I end up praying. For like, heart bro. I can't remember, I feel like I'm missing something desperately here. A hammer. I'm on the right world though. I made sure of that before I started. It's cool, we've got a hammer. We can bank the game's necklace. I actually like having this shit at the bottom. Let's get inside to see what the current game's at. It's not really worth participating in that, but if I can get any amount of fire and make an XP just from burning, I may as well. I won't get rewards from this game, but I may as well just burn some logs, you know what I mean? And I'm doing this on the public worlds because the quickest way to actually get fire making XP about from this is to... Oh my gosh, I need that notification off. Maybe you can't turn it off. <laughs> there we go, we got 52 fire making. It was worth just doing an invent, even if it costs a couple line. We can run out and get some more in time before the next one's even close to starting, because we're not going to get rewards anyway, so it doesn't matter. Is there no way to not get notified? Oh, it's because I've got it on interrupt. Okay. Off, off, off. There we go. I don't know why I have three triangle sandwiches, but fuck it, we're sending them. I probably pickpocketed it as an example running past that guy at some point. Okay, just three more fire making levels. Honestly, this isn't going to take us long at all. XP here is very good at Winter Todd. I'm sure many of you have uh, been here yourself. And if not, it's very simple, so allow me to be your guide to how to Winter Todd if you haven't. You need four items of warm clothing. For me, that is the tiara, the Fremenic gloves, the, unlit, uh, the lit bug lantern, and the scarf, the rainbow scarf. You want an axe, so you can come and chop these roots right here. I like standing in this exact spot because it never gets hit with overhead snow, which can deal that quite a large amount of damage, so you want to avoid it where possible. Uh, basically, at the start of the round, you want to light the brazier because it's worth the most reward points. You're trying to get up to 500 reward points in total. That is your goal every game, which is very achievable if you're solo in it. You'll get much higher than 500, but 500 is the minimum, and in public games, the energy goes down very quickly, so you're kind of aiming for 500 in most games. There's a lot of people online right now. It might actually be a struggle for me to get it. We'll see. And then, yeah, you can fletch to turn your logs into kindling, so it's worth more reward points. It's not that important, though, actually. I probably shouldn't be focusing on reward points, because... The bonus at the end of each game is just worth it. I basically just want to make sure I get to 500, and then it's relatively safe for me to stop. Now, if you were wanting to do this solo, you would also need to keep an eye on the pyromancers. There's four of them, one at the corner of each of the four braziers in the room. The pyromancers get damaged and need to be healed before you can light the 
braziers and sometimes the braziers will get broken as well there's lots of snow that falls so make sure to watch out for it and there's constant damage that there's no avoiding from winter todd seeps into your bones just got myself the perfect amount of kindling for 500 points here and it broke there so we all took damage because none of us dodged it because it's impossible to see anything and we get a combat task completed for repairing it nice and quickly extra points coming in as well going to take us over that 500 which means more chance to more rewards in our box our loot box See, if you want to heal the pyromancers, you have to grab an unfinished potion from the boxes over here, the concoction, and then get a herb from here and mix it with the concoction to make a potion, which you use on the pyromancers. Usually in a public game, somebody has them, so you don't need to worry about it if you're in mass. Yeah, for every 500 points you gain over this total, it basically gives you an extra roll on the loot table. You only ever get one loot crit, but it has a number of rolls inside depending on how many points you scored. First 500 is one roll, next 500 is two rolls, and it goes all the way up to 28, I think. It's 12,500 points is the max you can get, which is doable in a solo game, because you can stall it down at like 3%, but that's a totally different thing, and I'm not doing a guide for that right now. If you wanna see a guide for that, let me know. I can do a solo Todd guide. It is something I know how to do. And there's 53 fire making coming in alongside our supply crate. Why not just go resupply as we pop this open? Three Addy Ore. Actually, that is not bad loot for Winter Todd. Winter Todd is usually pretty disappointing, but I feel like that was okay. I'm fine with that. I probably don't need much more food, to be honest. We didn't use all of it, but just two more levels to go. That's the Paramancer guy that you need to heal sometimes. It can be hard to tell when everyone else is here. Maybe I should just disable people. I mean, if I was doing a guide, I would disable people. But if I was doing a guide, it'd be a solo guide anyway, so... You can basically just ignore me most of the time. You can tell when the brazier is about to break and stuff, like snow appears above it. It's just hard when there's so many people around. I'll try and point it out if I see it. And yeah, I'm only gonna fletch the first invent each time, just to make sure that I get my points up to at least 500 because we don't really care about the rewards sure there's some really cool stuff that we could get inside that could be worth money even potentially but we don't really care we're not here for the rewards we're here for the quick xp and the quickest fire making xp is to not fletch because fletching doesn't give extra fire making xp it just gives extra reward points and fletching xp Ooh, do i dare try and get a full invent out I mean, what's the harm really Oh, it's about to break. You can tell because there's a slight s snow, but that means it's not about to break. Sorry, it was about to go out. I didn't need to move away like I did. I just reacted too quickly. Your boy is too fast on the sticks. That's what it is. Man, everyone has the pets here, and I'm just sad because my scurry is still at fucking Prebeer's pet store. But there's nothing I can do. I can't be bothered to transfer money over just to go get a pet that I'll probably die in get put back in there. I die way too often for it to be worth. 6k and 4 sapphire, uh, 4 rubies. Oh, well, that's some crafting XP. May as well. Kept picking up one cuts when I was at Sulfonegur. I should have done some of them. Never even thought about it. Almost there. One more game and I reckon we're done with fire making too. Currently we're apparently getting 140k an hour and I'm not being particularly efficient about it, so... I'm doing it okay, but like I'm not hyper crazy with it. So what do I want to do after this is the question. I believe we may have a clue or two. I will have to look at them. After that, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of spending most of my melee grind, at least until we've, the next portion until we've unlocked Ice Burst. I'm thinking of spending most of it at the Sulfonagua, but it's not really good to get to for just a half hour. I might just like send a few scurrious kills if there's 20, 25 minutes left, whatever, after we've done the clue. Or clues if we've got more and pull, I can't remember. Just to get some extra melee training, but without having to go make a full trip where we get potions and whatnot. I'm actually just going to run stand by the fire. That way, if it goes out, I can get some extra points and XP in from relighting it. 
more risk of damage out here, but who cares? I won't actually take 10 node raw chi Oh no, that's raw. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you were right to drop that. I was just like, 10 food? I'm always looking for random food. Yeah, I'll take that. Nice, already got our 500 off the first invent. Was a bigger invent, because less wine. I don't think we'll get this all off, but I'm just coming in. That's 24 logs. I don't think it'll really matter if we don't. We'll get a big enough bonus at the end anyway to give us the level we want, but... Oh, it's not gonna happen, is it? So close! Oh, three logs left. Wait, did we not actually get the level? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're almost there. I'm just gonna stay in for enough XP. However many it is, I'm just gonna do one invent. Nah, I'm not gonna fletch because I don't give a fuck about rewards at all. I just want my fire making level and then I'm dipping. Ooh, yes please. No! Ruin OP got me on the... Okay, it's 162 per burn. Two more. Sweet, we're out of here. That is the fire making done. Let's pick up everyone's trash on the way. We may as well. And I think we've got the gems there to get the crafting level 2. Maybe we could start beneath Curse Sands. I just haven't done my pre-quest lookup of reminding myself everything that I need that I do for the larger quests. Go do a reset and check out these clues. Or clue, however many. Just the one. Just a medium clue. So it's probably not going to take very long at all. I'm guessing we'll be going to Scurrious after. Let me just get myself a glory so I can get on out there. Get to work. Probably need some more teleports as well. So I may as well just grab them now. Save myself the trouble. Train on. This is meant to be faster now. I don't know if I've used it since. I don't know if that was faster or if it just lagged because my chunk was loading. Kill any hill giant. Okay. There's probably much quicker ways to get to a hill giant. As I'm running here, I'm thinking of like six different ways to get to hill giants that are quicker than this, but this is the first one I thought of and it's more important to just get moving than to sit there thinking and stall out. In hindsight, probably just minigame teleporting to Giant's Foundry would have been the play. Because it takes 10 seconds and then there's Hill Giants like literally right there. Oh my gosh. I didn't bring energy with me. This is a slow walk. I feel like such a numpty. I'm seeing so many bones. Please tell me someone's not farming every single Hill Giant. I just need one bro. I'll turn that dwarf weed though while we're at it. Thank you very much. Key, right, Shazy, and I'm just gonna go reset, cause that's what we need to do. And let's get this shit off my back. Okay, back we go. Leave the Cody's DJR. Again, maybe quick ways to get there. I don't know exactly where the clothes shop is. I'm just, okay, south. Uh, I think it's here, right? Up this ladder. Why is it always a dwarf? I fucking hate these guys. Top floor, pretty sure it said. I still didn't bring stamina, what am I doing? I mean, I'm not wearing heavy shit now, but still. Oh, also Shazian. Weird. I was gonna go straight to the bank to get a stam. We will obviously do this, it's right here. Not often you get two Corrin steps right next to each other. Another step, Falador Park, Fairy. I imagine we have that, yeah. Go straight there. Could be the last one. That last one could have been the last one as well, but it wasn't. Come on! Big ranger boots. Big, big ranger boots. Here we go. Got excited when I saw green. Purple sweets are very nice, though. We will take that deal every day of the week and not complain a job about it. Nip to the GE real quick. Slap those up. Well worth the time. Look at that. 100k profit. Well, it will be when they sell. And let's put that orange dye that I randomly looted. And the shit that we looted from Todd. And let's get these so that we can chisel them and sell on the GE. Once we got our crafting level. 
There it is. We are now green on Beneath Curse Sands. While I'm here at the G, it might be an opportune moment to just buy anything that I need for the quest. So I'll do that now. I don't remember like any of this. I'm going to have to look it up properly, but we've got everything we need other than some recommended stuff, which is just for teleports, really. We don't need this. It costs two mil. Okay, I did want to get myself a mixed hide top. I just want to compare this with the obby real quick. It's not that. It's worse defensively, and it's less strength bonus. I thought this was bare defensively, but it's not. I'm just going to keep the obby. I guess we're going obby into raids. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Okay, that's all dealt with. I guess we'll just go make a little trip to Scurrius. Just like 10 minutes. Chill, do a couple kills. You know what? I'm just going to buy a bunch of lobsters as food. They're cheap. Do not need that much. DDS. Gear? Might want gear as well. Not just the DDS, but the rest of your gear. <sighs> Do we not have a poison dragon dagger? We do. I guess that'll lead XP from us though, which we don't really want. Just gonna dump my specs and then chill and flick. I'm not gonna be super tight on my flicks though. Oh gosh, that volume. Lovely stuff. Just in time. You love to see it. Oh, the spine! What a nice way to start. What a lovely way to start off. Nice. Another spine, that's so good. If only they didn't come with Adam and Arrows, it kind of takes the, the edge off it, but two spines. Do we just boost DV? We're gonna have to train it either way, right? So like, is it better to just get 10k strength XP than spend it on defense? Because the more strength we have, the quicker we'll train defense, theoretically, if we end up having to do it on melee. I'm hoping we get it done without maging, but I'm not 100% confident that we will. Nice. One more kill, I reckon, and then we'll go do the birds. Should be able to get it in without using another Predos. Oh, actually, you know what? We could use it on magic. We're almost... Wait, it's 10k XP. Nah, it's not worth putting on magic. Oh, right at the end, you beautiful bastard. Uh, I was going to teleport straight out, but no, we need to go turn in these spines. I think I'm just going to whack a on strength, to be honest. Because we're almost done with it now. Almost there. At 70. Let's go crack out these bird houses before time runs out on the day. An easy clue. I think there's a great deal we can get from easy clues. But we, we could always get stuff like purple sweets, I think, still. So it's probably worth doing because they're nice and quick, obviously. Not right now, though. That is time on the day. Right as we step through the portal here. Right, what did we get up to today? Well, quite a lot, but mostly skilling. 100k gained is not terrible at all. We got 44k fire making XP, so that's about half of it. We actually managed to get 30k strength XP there just at the end killing Scurrius, which is not bad at all, because we're only there for like, I don't know, 6 kills. We got 30k, it's like 5k XP a kill. Oh yeah, we got two spines, what am I talking about? That's why it's so high, that makes sense. But yeah, you can't expect that spine rate all the time, but it works out nice for us today. We are almost at 70 now. We've got 26,000 magic level to ice burst, at which point we can start training our magic up to 75 with ice burst, and also our defense up to 70 from where it's currently at, at 66. And then it'll just be these three attack levels that we can get in between. So I'll probably be doing like back and forth between magic training and melee training then. Once we've got both unlocked. But I think it's probably going to be another day at Sulphur's. So that I can try and get the, the next magic level first. Maybe I'll think of some other weird kooky way to get it before then. I don't know. I'm sure I'll figure something out. Cash stack though, 2.2 mil at the moment, 6 Aventos in the bank, and 6 planted, 
So we're getting some income from those, but not as much as we used to, necessarily. Still better rates than the Renata. We've got some bird's nest there. Not sure why. We've got some u logs there. They only drew four out at a time. That's why it, the u logs are there, even though I put them up for sale. That's why I've got two offers for four u logs up for sale. Okay. I should get the obby in here now as well, since I know that's what I'm taking to entry level. We can sort this tab out a little more. Still gonna have to have that DDS there for now, because no proper switch. We need to get Mage Cape as well. I decided I am at least gonna do a Mage Cape 1, just to keep my switches nice and similar. I don't know if we need to do it 2, but I might give it a go. We'll see, we'll see, we'll get there. Uh, but yeah, the actual rest of the gear is coming together real nice. Like if we've got a four-way swap here for uh, each class, basically, if you think of them in that way. And we'll have plenty of invent space left for food and shit, which is good stuff. We won't need a rune pouch, but we'll probably bring one anyway, just to carry around the ancients, make sure we have blood barrage in case of emergency. I'm actually pretty excited to get into this. Maybe I go before I've got all the stats I want just to see if I can get an entry level done. I don't know. I'll probably get clattered. We'll see. We'll see. I have no promises on what tomorrow's episode is going to be. If you want to find out, you'll have to subscribe and stick around with the rest of us. Thank you to everyone who's been subbing recently. The views have been great the past couple of days. I guess since Dead Man finished, things have been up for me. So thanks everyone who's been tuning in the past couple of days, whether you're new or returning. I appreciate having you all around for the journey with me here. And I appreciate you even more if you hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. Look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.